Long Legs is a new horror film directed by Oz Perkins, and it's been getting an incredible amount of hype. But let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. FBI agent Lee Harker is assigned to an unsolved serial killer case that takes an unexpected turn. Harker discovers a personal connection to the killer and must stop him before he strikes again. I've been really excited to see Long Legs, mostly due to seeing what Nicolas Cage looks like within this film, as this movie has been promoted so well, with having a black bar across his face, not showing a full face of Nicolas Cage, and that got me truly excited to see this film, and anticipating the reveal of that character. And it seems like it's been doing pretty well at the box office, and this is a film that's going to split people. Either you're going to think it's absolutely terrifying or you're going to think it's campy and truly nothing amazing. I'm on this side where I thought it was absolutely terrifying. One of the best horror films I have seen this decade. This was a film that I found my mouth to be dry as I just had it open for most of the film. My hands were clenched and my eyes were watery throughout most of this film. It truly affected me, and Nicolas Cage is one of the biggest reasons for this movie. Nicolas Cage goes all in with this performance, from his makeup to his mannerisms, to everything about his character is unsettling. The whole entire movie, there's not one single amount of joy or hope. It is dreadful throughout. And Nicolas Cage, his presence within this film, you feel that atmosphere, that terrifying performance from him, and he, and he really adds to the overall tone of this movie. Within the first three minutes of this film, you get an idea of what Nicolas Cage is going to be like in here, and it is unhinged. This is probably one of my favorite Nicolas Cage performance as he taps into the mind of a serial killer and goes all in with this performance. There are so many unsettling things that he does and adds such a distinct style to this character. Now, there might be some people that view this as way too campy or over the top, but that just plays into the mindset of this person. He is demonic. He is truly a different person and just adds to the intensity of this role. So Nicolas Cage performance, one of my favorite from him. It is truly unsettling. Then you have Micah Monroe in here who, very, very quiet performance. You can always tell with her in this film that there's something going on in her head. She's socially awkward. She's very committed to her job. But you can tell that there is this distraction from her. She starts to pin things together about long legs and she's not able to describe how she's be able to be connected to him and how she's able to solve things so easily but her performance is very strong as well when it needs to have some emotion from her when you need her to speak up and get more involved she definitely is there so the performance side of this film it's really good Oz Perkins utilizes sound to his advantage within this film. The score reminds me very much of Insidious as there's loud music that just provides for some jump scares, eerie sounds throughout this film. As there are a lot of quiet moments, you hear footsteps or the door creaking and it just provides that eerie feeling throughout this movie. As they utilize silence in the quietest sounds will catch your attention and wonder what is around the corner. The sound is a vital part of this film. There are times where it's very loud from Nicolas Cage and at times it's very quiet and those are also intense. His Perkins Oz Perkins direction is very good. There is a lot of uh, tracking shots of our characters zooming in a lot of things that just pop up on screen that really terrify you and they serve a purpose they're meant to move the story forward or give you an image of our characters very very briefly if i thought it was very smart to tease long legs throughout the film as we get little quick snapshots of our character and seeing what he would look like anticipating that full reveal of our character but oz perkins does a great job directing this film and having a distinct style to it a lot of tracking shots a lot of zooming in sequences a lot of things are in frame and when you get things in frame 
you see things in the background that catch your attention and really catch you off guard. Now, this is a really heavy FBI film as Micah Monroe's character is involved with trying to find long legs. But as the film progresses, we learn more about his, we learn more about long legs and his long string of victims and piecing things together. You see the ins and outs of our characters and FBI work and trying to, uh, and trying to question people and get information. The heavy film about FBI work and the long hours and dedication going into it. And when you get big reveals of our character long legs that where it just piles on the work for our characters brian underwood is in here as well he works alongside micah monroe and he starts to realize things about the case and just as to the urgency surrounding this film now i think a lot of people will not be sold on the end of our movie i feel like the end uh, they just give you things, give you everything in a nice little package and say, here you go. We want you to understand this movie very, very easily. And that could turn people off. I think they did a great job of wrapping up this movie and connecting things prior. But, but the end is quite simple with its reveal, but it is truly shocking. This is a very unsettling film. Like I said, I had my mouth wide open for most of the film, just completely in shock of what I was watching. I was terrified of Nicolas Cage within this film so much that when I got home late at night and my family was sleeping, I was afraid I was gonna see Nicolas Cage all painted with white at the top of my stairs or coming into the garage to lock things up. I was afraid I was gonna see him at the end of the garage. It was that unsettling to me. This is a film that will stick with me for many, many years. I think about the best horror films of this year, I will immediately think of Long Legs. Now I could see where some people will say that this is not terrifying or it's a pretentious film that doesn't amount to much. It's slow at times. Yes, it has a slow burn and the performances might be a little bit over the top. This is a film where I will totally see their criticisms about it and maybe a younger audience really laughing at some of the performances. But for me, it's a very strong film that really affected me from the beginning and it never let up. And worshiping Satan, there's a lot of crazy things that happened within this film. It honestly reminds me a lot of Barbarian from a couple years ago where it really did shock me and there are some people that found it to be really funny and I think that's how people will think about long legs is that there'll be some moments where they will laugh and think that it's really hilarious. But for me, it's a very unsettling look at satanic cults and Nicolas Cage giving an all out performance that works so well and it's truly deeply terrifying so i was really impressed with long legs and i had a lot of expectations going into it but i heard a lot of people say check your expectations at the door because it doesn't live up to the hype but for me personally it did live up to the hype and more i absolutely love this film so before i give my score for long legs make sure to check out my channel here i do movie reviews trailer actions ranking videos tier lists all that fun movie related content that you see on youtube i do it all here so hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot and if you have to see where long legs ranks amongst all the other 2024 releases i've seen this year follow me on letterbox and there you can find my ranking i'm gonna go ahead and give long legs an a thank you guys for checking my review for long legs the new horror film starring nicholas cage and micah monroe have you guys seen it by chance what do you think about it let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.